Hi, in this session I'll cover how to create a dynamic drop-down list. Let's say for example you wanted to create a list when you chose one item from a list it would give you a dynamic list from the, uh, that category. So in our example, let's say we had produce, we had these three lists, produce, fruits, and vegetables. As you can see here, in our produce list we had either fruits or vegetables. And upon selecting either fruits or vegetables in this category, it should give us the list for either fruits here or vegetables here. So let's say, for example, we picked out fruits. Our category two, it should give us these four, a list uh, of these four items, apples, oranges, grapes, and tomatoes. Yes, tomatoes are considered technically a fruit. So let's see how we go about creating this. Now what this is done is it's using the uh, data validation feature or function in Microsoft Excel. So let's go ahead and create uh, another example. Um, let's use cars as our example. We'll type car types and within car types we will have uh, the American car types and the Japanese car types. And let's just use for American, we do control C to copy that, control V to paste it there. Let's say we have GM and we have Ford. Let's do a control C to copy Japanese and control V to paste it over here. We have Toyota, Toyota, we have Honda, and we have Nissan. Let's just make it really um, short and sweet. Now what we need to do is create the named the name for this list. One way to do that is go into the name box here. We, we can select this item, these two items, and go into the name box here and type car type. Uh, as we can see here, that I actually created this before, so it's already there. Uh, let me go ahead and just remove those. Uh, let's see. See, we have Japanese here. Let me delete that, and then we have uh, American. And delete that. So I'll show you how to work creating it. So that's one way to create is is to to select it and type it in here in the name box, or we can go under define name and create it. Uh, give the name and uh, select the cells that it refers to. Another way we can do it is selecting the cells that have it as long as they the first row has the name that you want to have we can use that. So in our example, I'm going to select the American call, the American selection here. Do a control uh, mouse selection here. Uh, left click, left and drag to select non-contiguous cells and press control shift F3. It's going to come up with a window where it will let us create a name and pick up the name from the top row. So it's going to pick up the name for GM and Ford as American and Japanese for Toyota, Honda, Nissan. So click OK and just to see that it's there we click on the name manager and we see American is there and the Japanese is there. Alright so we go ahead and close that. Now we're going to get into the data validation feature in Excel. So we're going to go into category 1 and to go into the uh, validation we can either go to the data, let's see, I think it's uh, data validation here, or I like keyboard shortcuts, so we can select the cell here and press Alt D L, and that's going to give our data validation window the same here. And what we want to do is we want to allow for a list. And for our source, what we want to have is what the first source is going to be the car type. One way we can do it is we can just say equal car type because that was the name that we choose that we chose but another way to do it let me delete this is to press the F3 key and that gives us the paste name window and what we can do is to select car type click OK and it will enter it in there so in case you create a lot of different name names you can just press F3 and cycle down through the different ones you want to choose so I can click OK and as you can see here our validation feature is available. Now we want to create a data validation in our category 2 cell here too so I'm going to press Alt D L and that's also going to be a list but we just can't say that we just can't say we want it to equal to that and so we're assuming that after we picked uh, either American or Japanese from the drop-down it's going to be able to 
differentiate whether uh, it's going to be in this list or that list. What we need to do is we need to use a Excel function called indirect. So we put indirect in front of the cell reference. And what that does, I'll put that in parentheses, and what indirect does is um, the selection here is a word. So what it's going to do is the indirect is going to convert that word into a reference. So as we, we created a reference for the word American and the reference for the word Japanese as these list. So that's what indirect is going to look at now. So if I do put indirect and then the cell reference for this drop down, click OK. It's going to say the source currently evaluates the error you want to continue. Well, there's nothing in here, that's why. So, but if I select this, I select the American, this drop down is going to give me GM and Ford or Ford. And if I select Japanese, it's going to give me one of these, it's going to give me these, these three. So, there you go. That's how to create a dynamic drop down list. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.